Hello and welcome to today's discussion on safety on the internet. My name is Cassandra and I am Jesus' Love Time. I am here to tell you that if you're any good, it's going to be a rough road for you. And if you're not good, you can develop yourself into being good by educating yourself on real information that can actually grow you as an individual, but also grow your audience as people as well. The new society is manipulation with looks, hair, and makeup, and it's created unrest across the globe, specifically speaking to the fact that females are the demise of society as a whole, while men accept that as normal behavior. The reality is, is that watching this is very painful. Not that you want to be with that, but that that's the only way you're going to get something that's worthy of you, is to be like that. But you're not like that. You're a good person. You actually care about your fellow man and woman. However, these females at the white party, I'll specifically speak to the white party, don't care about anyone. They don't even care about themselves. It's very strange as a civilian to watch these folks interact with one another and think, wow, they're so cool. But it's an uncontrollable experience within yourself to see that as cool. You don't choose to think that about someone. You're forced to think about it in that way. They don't want goodness for others. They only want good for themselves. But good to them is buying clothes, looking good, and making fancy videos on a dock or a deck at a uh, house rental with four to five bedrooms when there's only two couples. All a mirage and a facade of what's actually going on in their lives, however, they portray it as if they're madly in love Although madly is probably the key term, and you as a civilian must know that safety is an important experience when you're any good when posting on the internet. As if you're good at what you do, you will be a target for these folks. Not only will you be a target for them to steal your content, as some individuals are telling you to share everything. Share everything until you are found uh, is not the way to go these days at least with the current situation that we're dealing with. Meaning there isn't a whole lot out there that's brand new. It's all been uh, regurgitated without actually learning what it is to be in meditation. Just a story associated with somebody who meditates. Why do I care about your meditation? Why do I care about your meditation journey? I honestly do not care, nor do I learn anything. Now that kind of conversation puts me at risk for a psychic attack. A telepathic psychic attack from someone who has millions of followers. All bots. However, even with bots, they still roam properties such as the white party and some other fancy parties that makes them think they're better than you. And then everyone around them says, yeah, you're better than her. You're better than them. However, it's a cancer on the planet. It's a cancer. And it takes more than one person, although I think I'm doing pretty well at combating the concern. Meaning, I know you have a lot of fear. But it's going to take bravery and courage to stomp out the noise that they're putting in your brain that they're putting in your brain. Meaning you actually do like yourself. Although you're afraid to post because you're afraid of what they'll do to you. And that's the real reason why people have fear around posting content. Now we have our most trusted individuals carrying them around on their arms and then trying to teach us 
positivity when we're being bombarded by negativity. It just doesn't work when the leader of your space is promoting the bad behavior and acting as if nothing's going on. You want to understand that you as a leader with millions of people, and I'm talking real people, not bots, you are the clearing of the space for those folks. You represent their lives. You represent education. You represent the self-awareness game. And if you don't have self-awareness, and if you don't have care for society, then you're not safe in this community. I Meaning you don't just let people go into your comment section and comment erratic behavior and then just take them to court. You just don't do that. If you are who you say you are, which is a good person, you actually reach out to people and you talk to them because that's your duty as a leader to an environment or a community. If things don't shift, then you take them to court. We're in a whole new ball game, a whole new predator phase of what society is, and you as the middle class are the prey. You can take a look all around these platforms and take a look at the psychosis that is being presented to you, not only in your TikTok platforms, on your YouTube pages, but also in Hollywood in their movies. Thinking it's okay to put Margot Roby in an O-R-G-Y to then portray her as a Barbie when she's not even American. Safety zone. Meaning you can turn into that or you can fight against it. And that's the truth. You can either turn into that, which is the easy way out, but it doesn't feel good and you end up a cancer and having cancer. Or you can fight against it with courage and honor. It's really not that challenging to point fingers at someone and say, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. You going to the white party or even the fact that white party exists does not work for me. You have children, you have babies at home that are literally asking where's daddy at on the 4th of July while you host thousands of people at your ridiculous home with too many windows that's probably 100 degrees in the summer with no privacy. It's a mind game of seeing what's right and what's wrong. And that's wrong. Every ounce of the white party, every square foot of that house is filth. Home of lies. And everyone who steps their foot on the property puts a stamp of a legacy of garbage and trash. Because they're all there for an initiative, a agenda, and an ill-intended behavior. And that's a fact. We saw it in their photographs. We saw it with the females. They even hire male prostitutes to coat the walls of the building. So when Kim Kardashian's ready to go into a room and to relieve herself in her form and her way, she can use one of these prostitute, male prostitutes to appease her. Because the men are just plain tired of it. I can't imagine anyone thinking that SCX is the only way and having real conversations is not important any longer. And I'm talking kind of conversations that might make you feel uncomfortable, but actually might get you to a place of evolution in who you are as a person. Why are we here on this planet? It ain't for SEX. That's something you made up. If that's what you live for, that is a lonely life and a lonely place to be. Having the safety knowledge to take a look around at what's real and what's fake is very important. It takes courage to practice in this realm of creating social media content because what you're going to get, no matter what you post, is some psychopath who's a sociopath who's going to comment on your video and tell you how you're not enough when the reality is, is they're not enough. And that's a fact. 
This is the dark ages we're in, folks. I'm talking dark. And if nobody stands up and speaks out against us, we're in deep doo-doo. Deep doo-doo. Now it's time for you to start speaking out, waking up to the truth of what these social media content creators are up to, as well as Hollywood industry and association to what the Democratic Party are offering us, which is not humanity, nor humility, but nothing but sociopathic behavior of a man who could barely stand up. Thank you for joining me on today's discussion around safety on the internet.